what is what is what we would call as define um, a man coming quick? Well, to women, and the actual answer to that is men who usually come less than. I'm gonna give you two minutes, but it's actually one minute. <laughs> If you ain't got nothing else to do, what Eddie Murphy say, count it. I promise you it's less than a minute. <laughs> Hello and welcome, my lovers. All those singles, daters, couples, married. Welcome to another talk with the love Dr. Pamela Smith. Now, you know how I do it. It's all about helping you find love, get love, keep love, and just enhance the love that you already have. So thank you for joining me. It's a true pleasure. Make sure that you continue to stay a part of my channel. Continue to subscribe. Make sure you like, send me some com comments, and don't forget to put that notification on so that you don't miss any of my great talks. Now, you see tonight, this talk is about men, how do you control coming to quit during sex? Now, this is a, of course, I'm bringing you what women are having an issue with that they want me to talk to you about. So, this is a talk that is really necessary because women, most women have all experienced this. And there are some men who are experiencing this and it could be happening now or has always been happening. Meaning it could have happened at a later age or, or, or um, uh, early age and now and or later age. So we're going to talk about it. So let's, you know how I do it. I take you back to school and we get what it is that we're really truly talking about. So what is coming quick, love doctor? <laughs> is coming quick what is what is what is what we would call a define um a man coming quick well to women and the actual answer to that is men who usually come less than i'm gonna give you two minutes but it's actually one minute <laughs> if you ain't got nothing else to do what Eddie Murphy say count it I promise you it's less than a minute. <laughs> and that you are having ejaculation, doing sexual intercourse, less than two to one minute. Now, the average, we're going to say, most re sexual relationships takes anywhere from five to ten minutes. Those are the ones that you just enjoy and it's nice and you get in and you get out, but it's a moment. The great sex, the women say, is when it's 15 minutes or more, okay? So, what we're talking about is that the men who are coming quick, which is usually less than a minute. I'm going to, I gave you two minutes, but it's actually less than a minute. So, here's how I'm going to help the men understand what they're having, where it's coming from, and how can you solve it. That's what the love doctor is going to talk about tonight so what causes it you know what causes uh the the men to do this well what happened is sometimes you're excited so you're excited and you're uncontrolled you're excited about this person you're having this inter interaction with so you can come quick so as soon as you enter within the actual intercourse um you, you, maybe you've had a lack of sex. You haven't had it often lately. Maybe it's been a year or two and you're excited. Again, we're back to being excited. Um, you're in a hurry. You're impatient. Those are the, those are the type of people I say are impatient. So in a hurry, if you're impatient in your life, you're probably going to be impatient within sex. Um, it could be depression. You, you're dealing with some type of depression. Something's going on in your life and um, you're dealing with that stress type of depression, okay? Um, you may have been sexually abused in, 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 in the past in your life. Um, it, poor body image causes you to, to hurry, get in and get out. Um, children. You have children in the household and you uh, 
think you need to hurry up and get it over with and get it done. Let's get it over and get it done. And so you're hurrying up. And then maybe you just really having issues in that area. But there's many, many reasons. I can go on. We, we're mainly talking about those main ones that um, really are a standout that you're not thinking about. But there's many other reasons. So what, what happens in your relationship with women when, you, when, you're, when this happens? Well, a lot of times within the relationship, if you're unsuccessful sustaining this, uh, if you're ejaculating too soon, you're going to have issues within your relationship. That woman more than likely is going to cheat, get frustrated, or end the relationship. Um, so that, that is something you really, really have to work on because you, you're going to have to get therapy if you're married within this relationship and this is happening, you need to get some type of therapy. Then you have, um, you, you only want to have oral sex. And some women don't want oral sex. Some women don't want it all the time. And so that causes uh, a problem because you're using the oral sex because you know you're going to come quick. And so you, you're replacing that when that woman you're dealing with may want constant interaction. And that causes a woman to stray. So it causes issue within your relationship when this happened. And this is why I'm talking about it because a lot of time, men, you know what it is. And I'm talking to some of the men that have this issue if you're coming um, quick. You know that if you constantly and continually and within a relationship come quick, not with just that one, we're talking about you know when you had this happening to you numerous times within relationship. You know what the issue is. And so you have to understand that you either had the issue throughout your life or you could have just recently developed the problem. But you know when this happens. So here, here's the thing I, I, I want to say to men that I feel like you need to try so that you can have a better sexual relationship with your mate. You should tr do a masturbation. Masturbate at least one to two hours before sex. Because that would help you control yourself. Try to do this. Go find something that's going to help you masturbate. And do that one to two hours before actually having sex with someone. And you figure out how to do that. If you're on a date, you just got to figure out the best time to do that. Because that's going to help control you from coming. You see what I mean? Because if you've already masturbated, you've already released that, that, that build up anxiety, that build up stress, that build up in your, in your body. So when you get with this woman, you, 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 you kind of, it's, it's, it's helping you keep from coming so quick. Okay. Also use a thick condom, buy condoms that are thick. Because when you buy condoms that are thick, it reduces the sensation. So that is something you should try if you're not doing that with your mate. Get a thick condom. Um, have your mate get on top. I, you know, and, and this is a major problem because women always say to me that men always want to keep doing the same uh, position. And rarely that they get on top of their mate. If you allow that to happen, the, the actual act of sexual in it, uh, uh, in intimacy lasts longer. Try that. You'll be surprised how long that'll go. If you if you don't come quick or not, just try that. Um, take breaks doing sex. You know, stop sometime. Take take a second because when you if you're a person that comes quick, you know that I'm gonna come quick in one minute. You need to say in thirty seconds. Let me pull out. Learn to do that. You know, learn to pull out. How about when you're in the act of sex? Don't enter all the way. Come out sometime. You see what I mean? Because that kind of, that air that hits you, hits the penis, is going to slow it down. So, you know, pull back, pull back. You see? So, try to slow down. Take your time. And that comes with, like I said, being impatient. And, and what happens is, when you're doing that, you become a selfish lover. Because you want to hurry up. And if you take your time, you're not being that type of person. 
You see what I mean? So take your time and relax with that person you're having the interaction with, okay? Also, you may need couple therapy. Like I said earlier, you may need to have a conversation with a therapist about your issue and what's happening within that situation. You really need to talk to someone about what to do. But I'm giving you some great, I think, great tips that will help you. But if you truly want to save a relationship to prevent your mate from leaving you or possibly doing something that you don't want to do, then get couple therapy, okay? And then one of the other things that may be happening, you, you may uh, need to take some form of medicine. There's medicine out there that help control men from coming quick. And they're out there for you. Viagra just gets you hard. Vi Viagra don't pre prevent you from coming quick, okay? <laughs> it gives you a little longevity, supposedly, but if you're a person that's always coming within a minute, I don't care how many Viagra you take, you're coming. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? So you got to make some changes to this underlying issue that you're having so that you can have greater uh, connection with your mate, Okay. So I hope the information that I gave you will help you. We'll be coming back with some more talks on what can help you within your area of uh, relationships and sex. And thank you for being a part of the Love Dr. Pamela Smith show. Remember, if you're single, just be patient. True love is only delayed. And if you're already in a relationship, what I always say, you have to make sure it's what? About peace, joy, and happiness. So I thank you for being a part of the love doctor and her lingerie life as we show our lingerie that, so you can get that for your mate or um, when ladies for yourself. So thank you for your comments and your hearts and your like. And I look so far forward to helping you more with love, love, love.